Hello YouTubers, just going to do a quick tutorial on BB cream. So first of all, get yourself a clip and just clip out any fringe or any hair that's in the face. Just a little bit there. Um, so the first thing is to wipe your face with a cleansing wipe. Now I've already wiped my face with this cleansing wipe and I will put what cleansing wipes they are down below. Um, so, I use this which is Be Prepared Makeup Primer. You can get this in Superdrug. Uh, I basically just apply a little bit, I don't know if you can see that, just a tiny little bit and I use a stippling brush by Real Techniques to apply this with. So just get it on and then in circular motion you just keep going round and round and round. Just on the areas where you need it or all over your face like because I quite to like to keep my makeup on pretty much throughout the day so just so it lasts a bit longer. So, after you've done that, then it is time to apply the BB cream, which is the same make as the primer, in my case. This is B.B cream, which, is, which also stands for Beauty beauty Balm. Yeah, Beauty Balm. And that this one is Sun Protection 15. Now, you just want a reasonable amount of product. So, not loads, but not not tiny amount so so just dab that on the brush and then circle emotions uh, it's quite good coverage on its own but my skin has been quite bad this week due to a few problems I had with the foundation I tried, I had allergic reaction and it brought me out in spots. Not very nice, dry skin and yeah. So be careful when you're trying foundation drug. As you can see that's gonna be quite a good coverage. Now I've got a few blemishes like this there and obviously on my chin area. Uh, everyone has their own problem um, areas. So basically you just want to get a good concealer which mine is MAC Select Cover Up. Um, this is quite a good concealer because you only need a little tiny bit so it's really good so you literally just squeeze and you've got your little bit and then you can use the same brush again. You could use a different one. What I kind of want to do with this is uh, just dab it on like that because then it gives you more coverage that way. Dab it on and then start to blend it. Now that spot is a bit redder than what it normally is. So I'm just going to take a little bit more. Just dab that on that problem area. Now I do stuff with quite round light because I don't really sleep. Well I sleep, but I don't sleep extremely well so just put them down there so there you go a much more better complexion now right so the next step would be just to get rid of any unwanted shine so I don't really like the shine to be on my chin down my nose or my forehead so I'm just going to use this Revlon um, be Dazzling Shimmer Powder, which is in Glimmer. Um, I'm going to use Real Techniques Powder Brush. Just give that a good swirl in there. And just do it on the areas where I don't really want a lot of shine. So I don't mind a bit of shimmer, but I don't want a really gleaming shine. So you can just see that I just matted those areas down. I also like some on the top of my eye to hold any eye makeup I might put on later on or whatever I want to do. So the next thing is um, to basically apply what you normally do really. So after you've done your base then you can get um, a shimmer brick or bronzer. Um, and I'm going to use my blusher brush for this one and I just give that a quick mix 
with all them colours. And I just want that to go down, down, and on the apples of the cheeks. Now you can't really see that very much, but I don't want a real big contour line because I'm not really a big fan of them. I do like them, but I don't, I don't know. I just want something that's just going to give me a little bit rosy cheeks. Now this is Maybelline New York. Um, this is blush in shade 77 rose. It's got a little bit of glitter in there, but it's quite matte. So, just quite like pinky cheeks, as you can tell. Right, my hair's coming into my face now. Um, and then, if you just want to go for a really natural look, then you probably just want to add some lipstick. And this is shine on by number seven in candy love oh no 17 yeah which you can get from boots yeah boots um i don't know much about that product because i actually won it in a raffle so but i have used it very often i'm using this mascara which does not have any name on it because i've used it quite a lot so the name has rubbed off um i think it is rimmel accelerating mascara growing with some oil in it or something so i'm just gonna put a little bit of that now i normally put eyeliner on but i'm trying to uh get out of putting loads of eyeliner on because sometimes it's nice just to have a nice natural look now as you can see with this bb cream the longer you leave it on the better it looks on your skin because it actually changes to your skin type so they only do two shades which are light and medium so if you have got really dark skin then just try the medium one on because it might just change to your skin tone um I'm, i've got a cousin and she has quite dark skin tone she tried the medium one she was like oh i think i need a darker one and i said well just wait a couple of minutes and just just see what it looks like afterwards and uh, she says it did actually work better if she left it on longer now this bb cream it does not have any i don't know anything on the back of the packet it just says that it's animal cruelty free and basically what it is um but the actual box does say seven in one so it helps your skin tone your impurities it's got light moisturizer in it so basically you could really use this for any kind of um skin type um i would suggest just because i have dry skin but i have quite an oily t-zone um, and i don't find that this is a very oily um foundation and i don't find it's a very rich and um you know like where they're quite heavy on the face well this is really light coverage so i'm just going to take my fringe down nice natural look um i've just noticed because of the light in my room for some reason it's given me kind of a weird neckline in the mirror i've just noticed so if you had do suffer with finding a foundation to match your neckline then get the powder brush put it in your bronzer just go around the neck be careful of your t-shirt because I have seen people where they put this on and they end up with their neck of their t-shirt orange. Now, see, that has just made that blending a little bit better. So, thanks for watching guys and I hope you like this tutorial and subscribe, comment, like and see you soon.